This is lesson 1.3, all about subtracting integers, page 19. And basically, how do you subtract integers? And we're going to be learning about this little fact right here that p minus q is the same thing as p plus a negative q. Okay. So we're going to model this integer subtraction using uh, counters. And we start with the idea of a zero pair. So uh, the the yellow, that counts as a positive one, and then red counts as a negative one. And when you combine a positive and a negative, you get zero. And so together they make a zero pair. We're going to use that idea to model negative four minus negative three. Now minus right here, this right here is the operation, and this here is the sign. And the parentheses in between separates the operation and the sign. That's why you have parentheses there. It's not that there's actually something to do inside the parentheses. So we have, uh, we start with four negative counters to represent that negative four. And then when we subtract, we're actually taken away. So here are the four negative counters and that blue box right here, this blue box is representing Okay, we're going to take away those three negatives. And there it is. And so what's left? Well, there's only one negative counter left. Uh, if I were to do this, I would see that, well, that is the only negative counter that's left out. So that's the answer. Negative four take away negative three is negative one. Or four negatives take away three negatives is one negative. Okay, six take away negative three. Now this is a little bit tricky. We have six positives and we take away three negatives. So we start with six positives and we can see the six positives right here. Here are the six positives. And from here, you have to imagine right now that you can't see this right now. We just have six positives. And we have from that six positives, we have to take away three negatives, but there are no negatives to take away. You see? So we have to add zero pairs. And so what we see here is this is a zero pair. When I add that up, that is like adding zero. There's something there, but it represents zero. And if I add this in, that represents zero, and that represents zero. So really, all that stuff there, it represents zero. But in doing so, we can now take away those three negatives. So this right here is representing taking away those three negatives. And the result is, uh, well, we take away those three negatives, and what's left? Well, we can see here, as I erase all this stuff here, what is left? I'm gonna, this is what's left here. And that's nine positives. So there you go. Six positives take away three negatives is nine positives. So there you go. Okay, negative two take away negative five, or two negatives take away five negatives. Okay, you start with two negative counters. Okay, I'm gonna do that here. So I have uh, two negative, negative is red. So two negative counters, one, two, two negative counters. And then I'm going to try to take away, uh, I, had, I have to take away five negative counters. I'm gonna move this over. So I have two negative counters and I wanna take away five negative pairs, so we have to think about, well, how many zero pairs do we have? Well, right now, I can take away uh, this one and this one. These can both be taken away, but I need uh, three more negatives, so I have to have three more zero pairs, and I'll do that here. I'll try to squeeze them in, so I have a negative, negative, negative. I want to take away three more negatives, so I can take away five negatives altogether, but I have to add zero pairs. See, that's three zeros there. So now I can take away that 
and that and that and what am I left with I'm left with three positives so take away uh, the five negative counters which I did in black and what is left I have three positive counters so the difference negative two take away negative five is three suppose you want to model a difference of negative four take away seven or negative four take away seven positives do you need zero pairs if so why okay well let's look at this uh, we have four negatives uh, one two three four and I want to take away seven positives that's what this is right here negative four take away seven positives well uh, I have this one two three four five six seven and I want to take those away but you can't just add a bunch of positives but you could add zeros and that's what one two three four five six seven now I can take away those seven positives right there and the result is what 11 negatives so this right here this is our result seven, 11 negatives so the publisher has to say this uh, yeah to subtract you have to have seven zero pairs so you have seven positive counters to take away you're left with 11 negative counters so negative four take away seven positives is uh, negative 11 so now we're going to transfer this to subtracting to a, on a number line and we have uh, for example five minus three you start at five and move three units to the left so you start at five here and you move three units to the left and this is the stopping point so this is your answer so five minus three is two okay so you can uh, use the fact of uh, subtracting a number line same as adding the opposite to find the difference of two integers so we have negative one minus five rewrite this subtraction as adding the opposite so negative one minus five is the same thing as negative one plus negative five this is a very important concept here negative one minus five is the same thing as negative one plus a negative five okay so you start at negative one and you move uh, what five units to the left because you're subtracting five or you're adding a negative five so that looks like this you start at negative one right there and you get down uh, what five to the left so this is a five motion to the left right there and we end up on negative six so the difference is negative six okay negative seven minus negative three all right so you rewrite it as adding the opposite okay so adding the opposite so this changes to addition and then the opposite of negative three is positive three so right here take a look at that negative seven minus negative three is the same thing as negative seven plus three so you start at negative seven and you move three units to the right because we're adding a positive three and there you go negative seven three to the right so that's three to the right and you end up on negative four so the difference is negative four all right so you're going to describe how to find five minus negative eight on the number line and if you found the difference using counter would you get the same result so five minus negative eight so let's see five minus negative eight that's the same thing as adding the opposite so five plus a positive eight or I can just write this as five plus eight okay start at five start at five and I add eight oh, I'm going to run out of spaces here so that's going to take me all the way to uh, what well, that should be 13 right there do I get the same thing if I use counters okay well five minus negative eight I have five positives one two three four five and I have to take away 
See, this, this means take away eight negatives, but I don't have any negatives to take away, so I have to add zero pairs. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops, eight. Come on now, eight. Now I have eight negatives to take away, which I will. What am I left with? I'm left with all these positives, which should be 13 positives. So, uh, describe it. Okay, when you describe it, this is what it is. See, so they, they say, first say describe how to do it. Well, you rewrite five minus negative eight as adding the opposite. Okay, did that. Uh, if you, uh, let's see, start at five, move eight units to the right. Okay, next, if you found the difference using counters, would you get the same result? Uh, and that says yes to that answer. Start with five positive counters and add zero pair, eight zero pairs. I did that. And uh, and then explain. Okay, yeah, take away eight negative counters. That's what this says right here, leaving 13 positive counters. All right. Subtracting integers and adding the opposite. So you can use the fact that subtracting integer is the same thing as adding the opposite. So, temperature on Monday was negative 5 degrees centigrade. By Tuesday, the temperature rose to negative 2. Find the change in temperature. Uh, we have to write this, uh, write a subtraction expression. So the final temperature, minus many's temperature, is the change in temperature. And that change is telling us, yeah, you got to subtract. Okay, so find the difference. Uh, to subtract 5 is the same thing as adding its opposite. So that's adding right there, and the opposite of negative 5 is positive 5, and they're not going to write positive 5, so the negative 2 plus 5. And negative 2 plus 5 is positive 3, so the temperature increased by 3 degrees. So what if, in example 1, this one right here, the temperature rose by 3 degrees. Suppose it fell from negative 2 to negative 10. Predict whether the change in temperature would be positive or negative. Well, this is what we got. It would be negative because negative 10 take away negative 2 is the same thing as negative 10 plus 2, which is negative 8. The temperature would decrease by 8 degrees centigrade. And that's it.